Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just had to quickly plug that I have a Discord. Uh, the link should be in the description and hopefully in the comments if I put it there. Um, I just had to plug it. I'm very excited about it. Um, as you can see, it's kind of nice and I figured it would help me with the community. Eventually, I would like to start running events when I have time, but I'm not sure when that will happen. Also, if you would like uh, to subscribe or like the video, that'd be great. It's the best way to support me. And uh, with that out of the way, let's just get to the video. This will be largely uh, unedited. I will put stuff on the screen when it's relevant and I might cut out some random stuff that doesn't matter. But apart from that, this was just all my raw thoughts and annoyances. So let's get into it. Hey guys, I really wanted to make this video just because as you guys know, there is a Gear Raid 3 event on right now, and it's the exact same event uh, as the last time, which you would say, well, that's weird. It's the first time we've had a Gear Raid, uh, a kind of repeated plunder event like that before. We haven't had a Gear Raid 1 yet, um, and it's really odd that they did it and that they boosted the same things, but I'm just here to say they did not boost the same things. It's actually wrong. So... On the screen, I should be showing the uh, the Gear Raid 3 one from last time, and then the current one, which are exactly the same. Same raid ups, same everything. But, if you've played and you've gone through this, you'd notice that it looks like they haven't actually been boosted. As you can see, I have a lot of things here. This is just kind of an example, because I, I've been farming and not getting very lucky. It seems, to me at least, that instead of boosting something like doom or boosting something like hawkeye although i did get a decent amount of hawkeye they've actually boosted wisdom they've boosted uh Silver Arcana, and i'm not sure if they boosted something else so i'm unsure if this is a glitch i'm unsure if the the raid ups is just broken or done poorly or if they just rinse and repeated the last announcement because they did not announce this one very well and it's possible that they just straight up forgot um i got one bullion just something but i did also want to talk about something related to the raids on these so i know fastidious is having like his own sort of poll thing which is cool if you want you could go check that out it's on his discord and he probably made a video on it here let me sell this i'm gonna probably farm in the background but as you can see a lot of garbage but that's unrelated to what i wanted to talk about so what i wanted to talk about is how the rates for this seem rigged and i just wanted to bring it up i wanted to ask it for some of you people partially because just straight up full transparency because i do like being transparent i uh <laughs> i did not have time to make a more full length video i should have one about the boreas infernal codex soon but yeah so i just i had to bring it up i had to say do you guys notice that the ancient rates are terrible on these events Normal events, I get an Ancient every maybe 100 to 200 runs, which I think is normal. But on these events, it takes me like upwards of 600, 700 runs to get a single Ancient gear piece. It's been like this for every single event for these. And I do not understand it. It's incredibly annoying. And I'm unsure if that's intentional. It probably is. Knowing Moonton, uh, every time they do one of these events, they always mess it up. Uh, the rates in this game are garbage. They don't know how, how to do them right. Like, legendary rates are based on, like, IP. They're based on a lot of other factors. So, it's, it's like, you could pull the exact same time on two accounts. Like, with sort of, the, you can have multiple instances. So, if you have two different accounts, two different sources of progression, and you summon on the exact same moment, like if you duplicate your um what you do uh then you just you'll get the same thing and it's really weird um so that's just kind of an example to say that these um these mechanics in this game are kind of bad uh it does not seem very good they definitely need to fix their game i don't know of any other game that handles luck so poorly because computers can't really simulate luck i'm pretty sure uh don't quote me on that because i am not experienced with computers but it does kind of seem that way from what i've seen and uh i just had to bring it up 
So please comment if you've um, actually gotten any ancients from this event, how many points you've gotten, how much stamina have you spent. Because on the Gear 2 event, the one that we had, I actually got okay, okay amounts of ancients, but I used 70 big pots for that event. I got like five ancients, which is absurd because I got like 40,000 points. So I got like five ancients, which is okay. I mean, I didn't really feel the rates too much because I was asleep when I was farming uh, with a bunch of auto fights. But then on the Gear 3 event, it took me like 12,000 points to get my first ancient. I know someone who did 20,000 points to get a single ancient. That is not normal. It's so much better on normal, just not these farming events. So what I'm thinking is, should I just start telling people not to farm? Like, is that something that is worthwhile? Should I just not do it? I'm not sure. <laughs> like, it feels so much like a scam. And I know I'm ranting and half the people just clicked off, but like, Come on, it's so ridiculous and I hate it. So I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that Soulbound Arcana and Wisdom are boosted. So if you're like me and you have a lot of Infernal Roar but not enough Soulbound Arcana, then uh, I would highly recommend pushing for this event because even if the Ancients seem rigged, uh, I'm not sure if everyone has similar experiences, but from who I know, uh, it seems like they are pretty bad. But um if you if you're experiencing bad rates please comment down below if um like whatever <laughs> i'm just kind of going off topic for a while here but i just wanted to tell you guys that it is actually a different event it's straight up a lie like it is not a rate up for the things that are supposed to be rated up i've been getting no one from a war whatsoever the other things are the exact same rates as normal uh, from what I've seen, obviously the sample size is not large, large enough, but someone's doing a study on it anyways. So this is like kind of a promotion for that, but also just I wanted to rant because it pisses me off. <laughs> like there are a lot of things in this game that are scuffed. Speaking of, Pelagius is scuffed. Um, but yeah, so I just, I had to complain somewhere, and I guess this is my outlet, that it's just kind of weird. I don't know. It kind of bothers me. <laughs> like... I don't get why it would be so hard to just actually just go in, click like the number value. I assume, I could be wrong, I'm not good with computers, but I assume they could just click the number value for like the rates of these things, raise it for this event. Like, shouldn't that not be too hard? Or could they like maybe actually promote these things a couple days beforehand? They promoted the other two just fine. They talked about it like a couple weeks in advance. It was fine, everyone was hyped. This one, they dropped it two days before on Reddit. They didn't even drop it anywhere else. They dropped it on the Discord eventually. And then, like, a day later, we had the event. It's kind of boring. It looks like no Ancients. Looks like a different rate up than what they asked. Or not what they asked, but, like, what they told us. And it's just, it's such a scam. I don't get it. It's just, like, come on. I'm also a little mad because, uh, I know this is kind of like a ranting video because I, I don't have time to edit and produce, like, an actual video today. Once again, I know I probably shouldn't say that, it's probably not a good thing to mention, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little mad as well, because, um, you know I did that Valentine's Day event thing, which was for event gems, where I had, uh, DCT on, uh, go check him out, DCT15, uh, he's a great guy, um, we had a lot of fun doing that, but we basically, I had him pretend that we were, like, a significant other, even though it was, like, the first time I had ever talked to him. <laughs> Uh, he was really um, a good sport about it and we were just gonna claim the event gems and then they didn't count us so under the rules here let me pull it up for you guys it essentially what it says is just submit it <laughs> like you it, it was literally just submit it in the google doc i know with a hundred percent certainty i submitted it in the google doc um this is a little bit of an insight into the creator stuff for you guys um but i submitted the 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 doc i fulfilled all of the requirements which is just have someone else on have like a little bit of interaction and then do this sort of thing and they gave us a list i did one in the list they even made it open-ended so whatever i did 110 percent it was in the requirements and then they all of a sudden were just like nah screw you we're not doing it so i'm not on the list here i'll show the list here um 
no f no shade at all to the number one guy he seems like a great guy i've kind of skimmed through his content he's a russian creator go check him out if you want even if you don't speak russian whatever he won and in his video he has like a feminine voice in the background impossible to hear for like two times in the entire video he came number one because of his views i should have been like number seven but nah i got shafted i messaged the content creator person straight up ghosted ignored it's a scam i don't get it it's like i know i get force fed diamonds and uh i'm very like grateful for that it helps me like do more summons helps me farm gear and kind of try to make better content um straight up i think i get too many they are nerfing it now which i think is a good thing even though it does directly penalize me a little bit i am not too bothered by that but it's just it's so scummy to basically have a list of requirements someone can fulfill them and just because you don't like them because possibly i don't have a face cam which also is something they don't like it's not something they say but it is something that i have confirmed uh that they do not like they also don't like that i leak things even though it's actively out there because apparently it's against their whole i i ideals to leak stuff even though it's actively public information because you could just download the files look through them and you will see literally everything so it is public it's not like i'm hacking into the database i'm just going in allegedly i don't actually do this myself by the way um but i just i go in i look through it i organize someone else well someone else looks through it and organizes it and then i put it into a video and i release it so like they don't like that and i'm getting penalized and i feel like i should just complain because i am bored and i want to talk and i am very tired today <laughs> but yeah so that's my ranting session there just know that the content creator uh thing does not like me the people at moonton do not like me very much i understand why but it feels scummy and i'm not a big fan um and i just had to say that i don't like that they keep lying about these things they nerfed ma by the way which i was going to make a video on but ma the 50k reward for a demon soldier which should be overpowered and only has three uses every single guildy guild got shadow nerfed they said they changed the way the true damage works nope they changed the raid i mean not the raid they changed the range of ma they changed how he works as a unit fundamentally they did not have that in the patch notes they killed ma the Boreas change is going to buff him in Guild v Guild, so he ults more often, which bothers me because he was already hard to beat. Cyrus Boreas teams, if they're done well, by the way, are basically impossible unless you have insane battle power, which a lot of people do not. Um, and Ma was the only counter. Now you cannot use Ma against those teams, and it bothers me. I know a lot of my guildmates uh, agree, and it's just... It's so annoying. Like, they nerfed Boreas rates, they nerfed Comet rates, they nerfed uh, Silas rates against people's backs, um, and they haven't buffed them. So I assume they nerfed Boreas because he was too strong, and then they decided to actually nerf Boreas, but they're not swapping the rates back. So instead, we're just getting two nerfs. <laughs> one affects the people who don't have them, one affects the people that do, and it's just like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm just mad a little bit, and I got a rant. The main things is just Sullivan Arcana is buffed. I would highly recommend uh, farming for it. It's not like you'll get anything good if you do. Uh, that's pretty hype. And um, yeah, I think that's about it for me. Um, expect some decently large projects soon. Um, and I should have a video on my, um, my polls this week, which are probably the best polls I've ever had in my life over a weekend. I also pulled something on my ancient on my ancients which is really cool it's like the first time i've ever caught that on camera i have had good ancient poles before but i never got them on camera which is unfortunate but i should have those out soon i should have a codex out and i'm planning a really big gear 2 video but i just have not had time to do it uh and tomorrow i will be tomorrow and monday i will be doing takeovers so if you're interested uh you know where to find me um but yeah that's about it for me sorry for making you guys sit through me getting pissed over nothing and ranting for 13 minutes on a youtube video i don't think it makes a big deal but i just i gotta i gotta rant before i before i go off on the the content creator person on why i'm so hated <laughs> but yeah so that's about it for me um and destin signing out